Hi everyone. So I know we've been channeling mostly just the same energy group the past like week, week and a half or so. I am going to try to get a new energy group, a new storyline here in the near future because I want to make sure everyone on this channel, um, you know, has their story read on here. But what's been coming through is that same energy group that we've been picking up on, which is there's there are these two people that are, are connecting with each other or they want to connect with each other could be someone that you know they're already together or there's just a love interest or there's just some kind of soul recognition between them there's some kind of soul connection whether it's platonic or romantic but there's a third party that's either on your end or on your person's end that wants to separate this and I feel like this third party just to reiterate for those who didn't see those other videos that I've posted the past couple of weeks for those of you that are just clicking on and this is your first time hearing about this energy group I, I feel like I, I feel like something's going on with that that I need to look into. I feel like the, I feel like this third party is considering. I keep getting that they're they're considering doing witchcraft or they're considering doing, they're they're like an inexperienced witch or an inexperienced tarot reader. Like I don't feel like this person's actually psychic, or I feel like maybe they're considering going to someone. Like they're they're trying to intervene here, and I feel like they tried to intervene in this connection in the past by spreading rumors about you or you know take it as it resonates. It's either your person has this third party connected to them. And they're trying to separate the two of you, or this could be you. You could be the one that has like a third party. And I don't even feel like it's a romantic third party. I actually feel like this is a friend or a family member that wants to separate these two. And I feel like he or she actually feels like they're doing the right thing. Like they're just very possessive and protective over this person. And it kind of feels like they get the sense that like, it's like they, they, they just feel like they're protecting them. They And they might have even lied about you to this person. Or they're spreading rumors like, oh, she he or she looks like, uh, you know, toxic or narcissistic or dramatic or, oh, I wouldn't trust that person. But they don't really know anything about them. They're just, they're making assumptions. Like I said, this person thinks that they're very intuitive, but they're actually not very intuitive. They have a lot of... <sighs> I don't know if it's darkness or what you'd call it. I, I just feel like maybe this person has a big ego, so they don't actually know how to like tune in to spirit and, and channel properly. You know what I mean? It's just like they make false assumptions, possibly based on past experiences. Um, maybe they even saw this person get hurt in the past, and so they're trying to protect them. They're like, oh yeah, she seems just like your ex, or he just he seems just like your ex, but they don't actually know what they're talking about. Um but we're going to look into it because there's more to this story. There's more that's coming out. But yeah, it just, it feels like, it feels like they either lied or they made like a false assumption. And then they, they separated these two. These two people were, were, they had soul recognition. They were coming together. There was some kind of union here, a very spiritual union, whether it was romantic or platonic, there was just a union that was trying to come in to, to come together. And then I feel like this third party, this protective, overprotective, possessive third party kind of got in the way by making someone too afraid to pursue it by spreading rumors, gossiping possibly for some even lying and just making shit up about somebody um but we went we went into that already so so if this is your reading i would watch those other readings i posted them what was that like a week or so ago maybe maybe two weeks at most so like they are up on my channel but i don't want to reiterate that too much i want to get into the the rest of this story which is what i've been channeling the past like maybe the past week or so because what I'm feeling is, okay, so I feel like this person got in your person's head or they got in your head. Like I said, take, you know, whatever role you're in, just take it as it resonates. But this third party got in someone's head and I feel like they were discouraged from pursuing something that would actually be very good, very beneficial, whether romantically, whether business wise, platonically, whatever it is, there is a soul connection here. There is a very deep soul connection here between two people. Um... And the past week or so, I, I feel like the energy I've been getting is, sorry to reiterate, I'm just kind of, you know, sometimes especially when I channel, it's like all over the place and I'm trying to like bring the information down and, and you know, organize it. <laughs> but what I've been feeling the past week is like this woman, I think she kind of went away for a little bit or she kind of, 
she kind of got distracted or maybe she had something else going on in her life or he could be male too, male or female, take it as it resonates. I'm just going to say female because I think for most that this person's friend or family member is probably a female that's being petty and causing drama and spreading rumors. So I'm just going to say female, but, but yeah. Um, I've been getting the sense that she's going to either go to another witch and, and pay them to do witchcraft, or maybe she has a friend that does witchcraft that's willing to help her out with it. Or she's doing something and she doesn't, she's not experienced enough to know what she's doing. And I think she's going to end up opening a demonic portal, honestly. Damn, like I didn't even, okay. There's more information coming through that I wasn't even expecting, but she could end up opening a demonic portal. I also think that this could be... If she's a new witch, I, I feel like maybe she's going to call on a deity that doesn't want to work with her and she's just going to piss someone off because I feel like this woman has a sense of entitlement. Like she might, um, like God, she's going to like read up about, you know, um, uh, I don't know who it would be exactly, but it might, it might be like a, it's probably going to be like a, a darker deity and she's not going to know shit about this deity. And she's not going to leave this deity an offering. She's not going to know how to communicate with this deity, how to work with this deity. She's, she's, and there's a few different storylines here. So bear with me because for some, it's not witchcraft for some, it's psychic work or it's something else. So we're going to get into it, but just stay with me. Even if that particular message isn't for you, um, there's a few different, it's the same, same energy group, but there's a few different like variations of what this woman might be doing. You know what I mean? Cause there's different people on here, but, but yeah, um, I, I feel like she's, it's like she's dabbling, but she doesn't know what she's doing. So she's going to call on a deity that's very powerful, very strong. And this woman, I think, is going to be, you know, just egotistical enough to think. It, it's, it's like she just wants something for free. You know what I mean? Like, she's just going to call on this deity and be like, hey, do this for me. And I, th I think she's going to piss, she's either going to piss the deity off or sh the deity is not even going to come in and she's just going to call in like a demon or some kind of other spirit instead that's going to see that kind of desperate, kind of weak minded. She's not spiritual enough to be dabbling, I guess I should say. This woman is very materialistic. She's very 3D. She is, she's very rooted in the physical world. Um, she, she doesn't have the intuition that she thinks she has. She doesn't have the, the spiritual support, the, um, the spirit, like, like she's not higher ranking in the spiritual realms, I guess is what I'm trying to say. She might be very popular in the physical world. She might be super charming, you know, friendly, talkative, like people might love her in the physical world, but in the spiritual realms, she is very low ranking. Um, she, She's not an old soul. I can tell. I don't feel like she's an old soul at all. I can tell you that much. Um, sorry, just bear with me, guys. Because as you guys, if you've been with me for a while, and like you've watched my videos, you know I primarily channel. I mean, the cards help a lot. And sometimes I get stories that I wasn't aware of. But like I do, you know, like the past week, I've just been getting the information. I've just been downloading it without the cards. But we're going to use these as a as a tool and get more insight and see what else is going on here. But um. Yeah, she's basically going to fuck around and find out because I, I feel like what I feel like is going to happen is I feel like this person that she separated, you know, she separated the two of you, this, this friend or lover or whoever this was, the soul connection, she tried to separate it. Um, and I, I think she did do it out of like a genuine desire to protect this person, but she didn't really, she doesn't know this other person. So there was nothing to protect this person from. She was just making false assumptions. She was going off past experience. Uh, and, and she, I, th I think she just made a big mistake. Like she didn't really, um, like I said, she's not spiritual enough to, to be able to use her intuition like that. She's not intuitive enough. Uh, I, I feel like she just spread rumors. She spread lies about this person. And even though for most it might've been, she might've had good intentions. I also feel like. I feel like this person's like bothered by someone's light. Like I feel like they're bothered by, and we, we got more into that in one of the, the previous readings that I did the past week. It, it's like, because I feel like there's like a queen of cups type and there's a queen of swords type. And this queen of swords is bothered by this queen of cups because the queen of cups is, 
She's genuinely everything that the Queen of Swords wishes she could be. The Queen of Cups is empathetic and loving and, uh, you know, open and, and just a very caring person. And I feel like this Queen of Swords tries to present herself to be that way. But it's it, there's like a fake energy to it. She's not naturally that way. The Queen of Cups is naturally that way. The Queen of Swords, like she 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 sees something in this Queen of Cups. She sees this light in this Queen of Cups that irritates her demons. And she can't put her finger on what that is. It's like she might actually have demonic attachments that are that are like irritated by this Queen of Cups light. But she doesn't understand that. She doesn't understand that the Queen of Cups is just at a different level or different vibration. Not saying she's better, that anyone's better than anyone else. But there's there's a different spiritual ranking there, basically. And I feel like this Queen of Swords maybe just feels... Um, like exposed by this woman, I guess. Like she feels like, like her, like her demons are irritated. Like she feels like she's, uh, sorry. I know this reading is scattered. I'm just really, this is one of those readings where I'm like mostly channel channeling. And when you pull information down from the higher realms like that, it's, it's kind of, sometimes it's scattered. Sometimes it's like all over the place. I don't know why I feel such like a nervous energy doing this reading too. Usually I feel very calm for, for whatever reason, I get like a nervous, shaking, shaky energy. It's really strange. Um, it's like in my like chest too. It's like a like a really like awkward like just nervousness. It's so strange. Whoever I don't know if this is your energy or your this person that is connected to you, but uh, anyway, I think there's just this bit of jealousy because it's like she sees this Queen of Cups and it's like she genuinely embodies. I'm trying to remember what I was getting in the last reading that I did on this. It was almost like this jealousy because it's like this Queen of Swords wishes she could be that way, but maybe she doesn't have the the life experience to be that way or she doesn't have the empathy required to be that way. You know what I mean? It's, it's like she sees something in this Queen of Swords that she, or sorry, this Queen of Swords sees something in this Queen of Cups that she really admires. Like she does really admire it, but she's fighting it because she doesn't want... She doesn't want to have to do the inner work and become a genuine Queen of Cups herself. So she's just telling herself, well, the Queen of Cups must be toxic or narcissistic or this or that. It's almost like she's rejecting those own qualities within herself. Like it's like the way that she wishes. I hope that makes sense. It's like the way that she wishes she could be, but she doesn't want to do the work to get there. So she just rejects those kind of qualities in other people. Um, or she doesn't have the emotional depth to understand those qualities in someone else instead of trying to work on herself and trying to develop that so that she can understand other people so she can see other perspectives I feel like she just shuts that out so so there's multiple motives here I mean like I said she is telling herself that she's protecting her friend or family member and that you know oh this person must be bad news even though she doesn't even know them but but again secondly there's also this own triggering her demons are being triggered her her desire not to have to do that kind of deep emotional work is being triggered that desire not to, it's like this woman is very surface level. But anyway, sorry, let's, let's get more because this is going to end up dragging on a long time if I keep, because I've already, I've already talked about that. So if this is your reading, I would go back and watch those readings because I already talked a bit more about that woman's like, you know, history and her, her way of thinking and all that. But um, yeah, okay. So there's, there's a few different options here for some because I feel like she did separate these two people. I feel like she did get in someone's head and she did make someone doubt a very real soul connection. She did make someone doubt something that was actually very real. Um, and it almost feels like she, maybe this person, like, maybe she felt satisfied. Like, maybe this person was like, okay, okay, I won't pursue her. I won't pursue him. Like, okay, you're right. Like, like she, her ego was stroked. She was told what she wanted to hear. But I, I feel like... I feel, oh God, it's, I'm getting something else too. Oof. Okay. I, I feel, okay, so I, I feel like her ego was stroked. Like she was, she was basically, you know, this person told her, okay, I'm not going to pursue it. I believe you. Like I, I trust your judgment. Um, and I think she really did get in this person's head. She really did cause like a block between these two people. But I feel like that block is being removed now for whatever reason. And I feel like 
the thing is, this man needs to be smarter, though. He needs to he needs to be smarter. He needs to be more intuitive, more in alignment with his soul and not listen to outside people. We were getting that. I don't want to reiterate, reiterate too much on that because that was something we got in another reading that I just did recently, too, where I was basically feeling like like this this man. Need, it's, it's a karmic lesson for this man. Are, is he going to listen to his intuition? Is he going to get in alignment with his soul, with his higher self, with being the person he truly wants to be? Or is he going to let gossip and and third party outside interference affect him and block him from something that could be really good? Like it, it's kind of a karmic test for him too. Is he going to listen to himself? Is he going to stay true to himself? Is he going to develop his intuition? Like he needs to learn to think for himself. He really needs to learn to find his own inner voice and make his own decisions because I feel like this man is, is very, um, I don't want to say submissive. I don't know if submissive is the right word, but it's like he really, he really listen, he really lets other people make his decisions for him. I don't think it's just her. I think there's other people in his life that are more dominant than he is. And it's really sad because I really feel like this man does have a dominant side deep down, but it's like he has to find it. He has to really find himself and, and tune into that dominant side. Um, because right now he's letting other people dominate and decide for him. So, so hopefully this man passes this karmic test. But anyway, what else I was, the other thing I was getting too, is I actually feel like she wants to keep this man at her level. Um, because this man is meant for better things than she is. I'm honestly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it. I, I feel like on a surface level, they really connect. Um, but he... How do I explain this energy? He has a lot more emotional depth than she does, but I don't know if this man even knows that he has that emotional depth. It's almost like he hasn't been around the right people to be given the chance to explore that side of himself. You know what I mean? It's like maybe he's been around people that... It, it, it's like, how do I explain this? She wants to believe that this man is like is like her. She wants to believe that this man is exactly like her. She wants the friendship or if, if it's family, she wants their connection to stay exactly as it is, but he's not like her. He thinks that he's like her because he hasn't gotten a chance to really explore who he truly is and who he wants to be. Um, it's like if you're a really deep person, but you're around shallow people all the time, it's like you're not going to have those deep one-on-one -on -one conversations. You're not going to really be able to explore that side of yourself around people because you're going to be around people who constantly just want to gossip um, or they just want to talk about just surface level shit. Like they, they just want to make small talk. So it's, it's almost like this man is like under this illusion that that's just who he is because he's been around people like that for so long. He hasn't known very many emotionally deep people. He hasn't known very many people who like, challenge him in the right ways or bring out the best in him who he hasn't known very many people that he can be truly vulnerable with it's like they only see a small part of him but there's a part of him that he it's I hope I, I hope I'm making sense because it's like what I'm channeling it's like a part of him that he has to hide from people but I don't even know if he realizes he's hiding that part of himself from them god I know that sounds so weird but it's it's almost like because I just feel like he has so much more emotional depth than he even realizes it's like he's it's like he's he's he just fit in with these people because he's so used to being around them. But it, it's it's almost like it's almost like he's some part of him is, isn't even like consciously like trying to like hide it. it. It's almost like he just it's like his soul tries to come through. His soul tries to come through and be like, hey, you can have more than this. Like you can have deeper connections. You can have adventure and passion and romance and love and all the things that you want. And he does want that. But it's almost like he ignores that his soul is like calling him to do those things. And it's, it's almost like he kind of ignores it to a degree um, because he's around other people that ignore, that either ignore it or just don't have that kind of emotional depth. He's been around that for so long. So he almost, it's almost like his soul is coming through and this emotional depth that he has is trying to come through, but he doesn't even, he might not even recognize it for what it is. God, that probably sounds so strange. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's, it's almost like, he's like, what is this feeling? Like, what is this passion? Or what is this pull? Like, where is my soul being pulled towards? Like, I don't, it, it's like, there's more depth there, but he doesn't, yeah, it's like he hasn't gotten a chance to know himself, to explore himself, to find that side of himself. Um, 
sorry, I know I'm repeating myself a lot. It's just like I said, I'm channeling and there's so much information that's coming through. Like I'm getting visuals. I'm picking up on the energy. And so I'm just trying to, sometimes I reiterate it because it like helps me because then I'm like, I, I get back on track with it and more information comes through. So just bear with me, guys. It's a process. Um, I, I think that this woman almost senses that though. It's like she senses, I don't want to say she wants to keep him small because I don't feel like she's like out to get him or she hates him. Like, I think she really does care about this man. But I just, I think that it's almost like some part of her, like they're, they're just, she's not very intuitive, but that little intuition that she does have, I feel like it kind of tells her that this man is meant for greater things than she is, that he has more depth than she does, that he has more um, passion, more drive, just there's more to him. There's, there's more to him, even if most people don't see it, even if he can't even see it in himself, there is a lot more to him. And I, I think that because it, it's like she really does care about him, but she like cares about the version of him that he is or that he's used to being. You know what I mean? It, it's like she kind of feels that there's this whole side of him that he hasn't explored or hasn't tapped into. And it's like she wants to block him from tapping into that side because she knows that he might not resonate with her as much. He's not going to resonate with gossip. When he, when he evolves, when this man, if this man really, it's up to him, whether he wants to stay stagnant and he wants to keep people like this in his life forever. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying he like has to go cut this woman out tomorrow or, or the or whatever, but it, it's kind of like his soul is calling for him to level up. And if he wants to, I feel like he's very passionate. I feel like there's certain dreams and goals and, and things that he wants to do with his life. And if he wants to get there, he's he's going to have to let go of some of the dead weight. And it doesn't mean he has to let go of this friendship or family member necessarily, but he's going to have to detach to some degree. Um, he could still be friends with this person, but he has to learn to set boundaries with this person. He has to learn to not let this person control and manipulate his life so much because she is going to keep him small. It's it's not only is she going to connect uh, is she going to not only will she try to stop a very real soul-based connection from coming into play here with these two people, but I feel like she might also block him from reaching certain goals and and visions and dreams that he has for himself. There's certain things that he wants to do and I'm sure she probably isn't conscious of this. It might be like a subconscious thing, but I feel like she might even discourage him from going after things that would really make him happy. Like, oh, you shouldn't pursue that or you shouldn't, you know, you don't want to do that. Uh, the energy is so weird to me too, though, because it's almost like, because she does want this man to succeed, but it's like at the same time, she doesn't want him to succeed too much. Does that make sense? It's It's almost like, like, I feel like she has his whole life planned out. I don't know if she's told him this, but it's it's almost like she has his life planned out. And it's like there's certain goals that he wants to achieve that she does. She does want that for him. She wants him to be happy. She really does. She doesn't have it out for him. Like, she really does want to see him happy. But it, it's like she wants to be control of that happiness. She wants to dictate what that looks like for him. She doesn't. It, it's Because I just see, like, I keep getting a visual like this, like this, like a straight like there's nothing outside of that. It has to be in this little box that she has planned out for him, basically. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you can do this. You can meet this goal. You can, you can, this career goal that you're, you're trying to meet in the next couple of years, you can do that. You can date this type of person, but you can't date someone outside of that. You can't date someone who's, you know, different than that. Um, or you can't uh, go for this other career goal, uh, you know, that would take you someplace else. Like we can't be having that. You have to stay in this. You can't move away from me. Like that kind of shit. You know what I mean? It, it, it's like she does want him to be successful, but only so successful. And she wants to make sure that she stays in this box with him, that she goes along for the ride with him. Um, and I think some part of him, he needs to open his mind up. He needs to open his mind up. He needs to open up spiritually, I feel, if he wants real success. If he wants, it's up to him. Does he want to stay in this box or does he want to, to have, you know, make the world his oyster and have everything he wants in love, in career, in whatever he wants? Because he's trapped right now. He is in a little box right now. He doesn't even realize it. Um, 
even if she doesn't have horrible intentions. But yeah, I, I think that's another reason why she wants to separate this, this soul connection, why she wants to keep these two people separate is because she does sense that I, I feel like this person would, I feel like this, this soul connection that she's trying to, you know, she's trying to keep them apart. I feel like she senses that this queen of cups type, like I said, she has the queen of swords. This other person's more of a queen of cups. I feel like she senses that this queen of cups type might bring about life changes in him, like, like spiritual awakening, awakening, psychic awakening, um, more emotional depth. He would have a chance to explore a whole nother side of himself with her. He would have a chance to genuinely grow and evolve and become whoever he wants to be. And this friend or family member wouldn't be in control of him anymore. He, he might decide that his future is, is better off without her or, or he would, at the very least, he might keep her in his, in his life long term, but he might, he, he would at least be to a point where he would be more evolved and more dominant. So she wouldn't be able to control him. He wouldn't be submissive to her anymore. He would set boundaries with her. He'd be like, hey, I care about you. You're my friend, but you're not going to gossip and talk shit about this person. I'm going to go with my intuition. I know I like this person. I'm going to pursue it. Or, hey, like, I, I know that you don't want me to move away, but, you know, this is where my career path is taking me. This is what I want. Or I know you didn't want me to pursue this goal, but you know what? This is what resonates with me. It doesn't have to make sense to you. You know what I mean? It's, it's like he would stand up for himself. He would stay true to them to himself. And they could, you know, like I said, they could still be friends, but there would be a different kind of she wouldn't she wouldn't have she wouldn't be in control of him anymore. She would ha he would have more freedom. Um He would, uh, he would be able to, to create his own vision for his life. He would have the strength and support to do that. So I, I, th I think that, I think, I think another reason like why this, this woman is gossiping and trying to keep this queen of cups out of his life is because she senses that she senses that he would, she would be bringing about these life changes. She would be bringing about, um, like they would support each other. They would be a very deep support system for each other. They would really help. They'd both help each other heal, help each other grow, help each other evolve. Um, there would be a very deep connection between the two of them. Um, and so things wouldn't, you know, there would be changes. And, and this, this Queen of Swords is afraid of what those changes would look like. She's, like I said, she wants to keep him on. She's a very young soul. Um, this man is actually an older soul, even though he doesn't recognize that he is. He really is. Um, and this Queen of Cups is an older soul. So I think some part of this, this, you know, young soul Queen of Swords kind of sees that, that this queen, that they're both older souls, that they're, there's both, there's a deeper spiritual comp compatibility. There's a deeper emotional compatibility, um, be it friends or lovers or whatever, just in general, in general. And so I think that little part of her that actually is able to be intuitive is kind of like jealous of that. Um, she wants to, she wants to keep him on this kind of shallow surface level with her. You know what I mean? She, she doesn't want him to become more deep because she's not going to resonate with that. She's not going to know what to do with that. She doesn't want him to become more empathetic because she's, she's used to, you know, having fun and doing whatever. She's not used to, to, she doesn't really, she doesn't, she might admire those qualities, but she, she doesn't possess them. Not, not to a deep extent. Um, this queen of swords doesn't. So Let's see. But but yeah, it's ultimately up to this man if he wants to stay in his comfort zone or if he wants to, you know, re really become who he is meant to be, who he truly is, and really reach all the goals that he's meant to reach. Because I just, I, I honestly feel like there's certain opportunities. If he stays in this little box with this, this queen of swords, this friend or family member that, that gossips and wants to create drama in his life, he's, there's certain goals he's going to miss out on because he's not going to be able to see them. He's going to be in this little box with her and there's going to be all these opportunities out, out here, over here. He can't see them. He can't see them. And he thinks that this is like success because it's like, because it's it's all he knows but but there's there's this whole other side of him that wants to be developed um there are these new connections coming in for him too not just with this queen of cups but there's also other people that this man is meant to meet that he wouldn't resonate with right now because he hasn't explored that side of himself but i, I think there's other people that he's going to end up being friends with that are 
that have that emotional depth and that empathy and that that passion for life and that drive and that free spirit. Like there's other people that are meant to come into his life um, if he's willing to step out of his comfort zone and get into alignment with them. It reminds me of like a dream that I had years and years ago where it was uh, I, there was a sea lion that was in um, it was in like it was in this bathtub. And I tried to take the sea lion out and put it in the ocean and it was afraid. So it ran back to the bathtub. And then like eventually it's like eventually it went into the ocean because it's like it's like, what do you want to be? You want to be that sea lion that's in that bathtub and you're that's your comfort zone. You're happy with that because that's all you've ever known. Or do you want the entire ocean? Do you want to make the world your oyster and have all your dreams come true? It's 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 really up to this man. But let's get in. Sorry, let's get into the. Let's get into the other portion of this reading. I feel like this man just turns to this woman for advice and it's such a big mistake. Like she's not someone, she doesn't have the depth. She doesn't have the empathy. She doesn't have the life experience. She might, she, she might like present herself as someone who's super loving, but, and I'm not saying she's like a horrible person, but I'm just saying she's a very young soul. She's not someone that you would want to turn to for advice. And so the warning that I've been feeling the past week is I do feel like maybe, this block between these two people, this queen of cups and this man, I, I feel, cause I feel like the queen of swords was like, she was satisfied. She's like, okay, he's not going to pursue her. He's not going to talk to her. Like she, he said something to her that made her feel like, okay, I don't need to worry about it. Whatever he's, you know, she's very possessive of him. Even if it's platonic, it's very strange, but I, I feel like he might go back to this queen of swords and be like, wait a minute, maybe I should talk to this queen of cups or he might send her like screenshots. And it's a mistake because, because the queen of swords is going to, same shit. She's going to lie again. She's going to cause, she's going to gossip again. She's going to make shit up if she has to. She's probably going to try to find dirt on this queen of cups. And if she can't find any dirt, she's just going to make something up. Honestly, she'll, she'll just lie about this person or she'll exaggerate something. You know what I mean? Like she might, um, I don't know. I feel like she actually just lies or I feel like she takes things out of context. Like she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand people well enough. She might be very social, but she doesn't actually understand people on a deep level, this Queen of Swords. So it's like, this Queen of Swords just does not understand people. So it... It's, it could be one of those things where it's like, where it, it's like, you know, uh, this Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords talk and the Queen of Cups is like, oh, I, I think kids are really cute. And the Queen of Swords goes to this man and is like, oh, she wants a baby right now. She's trying to get have kids. And it's like, you might not even want kids. You know what I mean? Like, this Queen of Cups might not even want kids. It could be something like that. It's like, or, uh, I don't know. I feel like even small talk, it's like she'll take things out of context. Like, she's kind of manipulative. Ugh. Like, she just doesn't, she really doesn't. Again, she thinks she's so intuitive, but she's not. She really doesn't understand who this Queen of Cups is. Um... I think in general, she doesn't understand people. She doesn't, there's just, there's this ego that she has that I think blocks her from really understanding anybody. Hmm. Wow. Uh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually going to do a second reading, but I'm going to post it at the same time as this one. So all you have to do is just click off, go to my most, most recent YouTube reading, and I'll, I'll post these both at the same time. I just feel like this story, I mean, it's the same storyline, but I feel like we ended up, I ended up getting into uh, just the connection between these two and everything else. Like there's a lot of other information that came through. I was intending on focusing on on the like the whatever she's planning on doing next so we're gonna get into that in part two so just just come right back for that thank you guys sorry about that